Hello there guys, welcome to another first look video. This time it's that drifting game. I can't remember what it's called, it only came out today. It's about 25 quid. I've had a little bit of a go and I like it. I like it quite a lot, but it is very difficult. Right, I'm gonna cover some important questions you might have before we get in. Yes, it does support the steering wheel. No, you don't wanna use the steering wheel because it's really bloody hard. Right, you've gotta go full lock one way, full lock the other way, and on a steering wheel that turns around 900 degree rotation, that is a lot of work, it really is. I was exhausted trying to do this on the steering wheel. Now also, there is a problem with reconfiguring the steering wheel because the uh, the defaults on the game are handbrake button is A and look behind you is B, but you can change them. Now, as you guys know, I have adapted my B button to use as a handbrake. So obviously I went into the settings and I switched the A and B buttons over. Now that does work. It does change the handbrake from the A button to the B, but for some weird reason, it doesn't stop the B button being the look behind you button. So every time you pull the handbrake, your camera looks behind you. Now, obviously that's a fault, so they'll probably, you know, kind of iron out little problems like that with an update, but it does mean that I can't use my big handbrake button. But anyway, the steering wheel is too difficult, so I'm actually on the controller. So, a uh, couple of tips. As soon as you start the game, go into your garage, and every single car that you buy, do this. Right, you've got to go to your mods first of all because it's it's set to the stock option to begin with and you can't tune it or do anything. Uh, so you can buy them. Uh, there's the Tune, Racing, Drift and Ultimate. I've already bought the Drift one. So you want to buy this if you're going to be doing the Drift races because it makes drifting a lot easier. And then you want to tune it. So once you've actually changed it, you can now get in here. Go over to your brakes because by default, every single car you get has got ABS turned on and you want to turn it off if you're going to be drifting. So we want to turn that off. I don't know what I need to do with the rest of the settings, but I've been fiddling around with my brake bias. This is the default, but I found that if I turn it down quite a lot, I'm going to pop it about there, it seems to be easier to get into a drift. Now, I don't think the handbrake is sensitive enough. I think you have to hold it down too much to start your car drifting. So I don't know whether I can adjust that. I mean, there's nothing in here that says handbrake, is they brake torque. Now, you can adjust all this stuff, I'll very quickly show you, but it's not very clear what's gonna happen. I mean, look at this, front rim diameter, affects acceleration, speed, and overall handling. How does it affect it? What happens if I turn it up or turn it down? How is that different to the rear rim diameter? So yeah, it doesn't give you much information, but it's better than Project Cars 3. At least it gives you an idea of what might happen, but not as good as uh, Forza Motorsport. Uh, not Forza Motorsport, Forza Horizon. Forza Horizon 4. So you can fit all with stuff. Just having a bit of mid tea. Um, when you fiddle with things, you can test drive and it goes into this quite quickly. So you can adjust something, you can come in here. See what I mean? That was a fast loading screen, wasn't it? So we can come in here and we can see how the car performs compared to uh, before you fiddle with it. Hey, it's not bad, it's not bad. This doesn't feel too bad. But yeah, it's quite hard. It is really quite hard. Now look at my wheels. To get you a better angle. I mean, it's like full lock one way, full lock the other. Really, really sensitive. On a steering wheel, that's a nightmare. I've got to turn it 900 degrees before it goes full lock. Right, I'm going to show you the camera options. Um, we've got a couple of chase cameras. We've got uh, this and a bonnet one. We do have an inside, which is actually a lot of fun, but your hands just look stupid. But you can make your hands disappear. I can't remember what button it is. I might not have the button assigned, but there is the option of having your hands and your steering wheel disappear. But they are very erratic when you turn. It looks a bit off-putting. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. But they've got another option. Let me just get my car in a good position. This! This is really hard, but it can look really, really good. Oh, bollocks. So obviously the camera just keeps changing, so you just got these uh, side camera tripods. It's really bloody hard. I bet it'll be fine if you know the track really well, but it's not very good for this. So once you've had a bit of a test drive, you can get back out to this immediately. So that happens quick, which is good because I think 
you've got to come in here and do some fiddling, right? Based on the fact that the ABS was on for all the cars by default, I'm imagining the default settings for all this stuff are probably not very good for drifting. So I'm struggling on the game, but if I knew what I was doing, then uh, I'm sure that my car would be a lot better. So I want to know how to do all of this. I'm kind of hoping that someone, you know, uploads something to the internet saying, put these settings on this and it will be brilliant. So there we go. Anyway, that is uh, adjusting your car. So I'll keep it with that setup. It weren't too bad. We're going to go into the actual gameplay. Whoops. Uh, you have drift races. Now on the drift race, your objective is to just get drift points and you have about three minutes to finish a lap. Every single one of those points, hang on. <coughs> oh, a really tickly throat. Every single one of those points get turns into dollars when you finish the race. So even if you fail all the objectives and you don't accomplish anything, you don't win or whatever, you get points every single time you drift that becomes money, which is good because everything in the game costs money. And I mean everything. If you want to paint your car, it's going to cost you money. If you're going to upgrade it or modify it in any way, you've got to pay for that. Obviously, you have to buy new cars, but what you also have to buy is the tracks that you've unlocked, which is a little bit mean. So if we're looking here, look, I've unlocked these four, but I've only got the first one. You had this one by default, but I've got to spend 10 grand to actually go and race in here. So that's a bit of a bummer. And what is it? Is it the same thing, but backwards? Yeah, it's just that one, but backwards. I'm not buying that then. Well, I'll buy this one when I've got 20 grand. So uh, obviously, uh, getting money is quite important. There's a, f a few tracks, not loads, but there's a few. Uh, right, your time attack. Obviously, you want to put your car on your, uh, your racing spec for that. That's just driving fast. Training is basically practice, not training. You just drive around the track for as much as you want uh, until you're bored. But it doesn't give you any kind of help. There's, it's not in any way a tutorial. It's just a practice. I've not done this. So I don't know what it is. I'm not a multiplayer and their settings. So let's get in there. And oh, I'll tell you what, just before we jump in, I'll show you the cars. Right, so these are the cars that you can buy. Obviously the game's not licensed. So there we go. There's not many, so I'll just go through them all and then we'll go and drive. I like the idea of drifting this police car around though. The judge, <laughs> the Cobra. Oh, that, that is a car. Look at this, the flanker. Space Knight, Black Jack. <laughs> Lovely. Right, let's go. Let's get in a race then. So, whoops. Oh, these ones I've got. That's quite nice to drive. That's what I've driven the most. But I've just done this one. I've done one lap in it. So I have got a ghost when I get in there. But it was absolutely diabolical. And that's before I started adjusting things. So hopefully now I'll be a little bit better. So, back and a drift race. So we'll go in the only track that I've got. My best is 1,000 and something, 1,700 odd, which is really bad because to get bronze is 3,000. Yeah, load times are so fast on this game, <coughs> which is very nice when you're used to playing things like Forza. Oh, I've got a stupid camera on. Right. I wonder what was going on. I thought it was still the beginning and I just crashed into the wall. I want about that one, I think. So I'll restart from this one. Um, the ghost is in no way uh, transparent at all. It's just a normal car. And it's, it's smoke as well is in no way transparent. If it's just in front of you and it's sliding about a bit, you can't bloody see anything. Well, the, the smoke gets in your way a bit too much. I'm really struggling. I did absolutely shit in, the, uh, in my previous one on that ghost, so... Yeah, that went good. That was about the best drift I've done so far in the game. I really, really... Oh, let me turn the telly down a bit. She'll be getting a horrible echo. I really quite like it, but I reckon it's going to take me a lot of time to get used to it. And I'll take advantage of this paused moment to have a little bit more tea. Oh, tea when it's piping hot is so good. I can't leave it to go cold. There is music, but obviously I've turned it off because of YouTube. 
I didn't listen to music at all, I turned it off as soon as I got in here, so I don't know uh, whether it's terrible music or whether it's good. You know what I was playing yesterday? Baja Edge of Control. Oh, it's still really good on the controller. I haven't played it for a long time because it doesn't support my steering wheel. But uh, I thought, ah, oh, I'm going to boot it up anyway. So I had a crack on it with the controller, and it's such an enjoyable game to play. I love it. I really do. I think it's one of my favourite, most favourite games of all time. That and Civilization Revolution, those two games are definitely my favourite games ever. But Baja Edge Control is just fantastic. I wish they'd had support for the wheel. I love the, um, I, I have the music off on the game, so the music on the game is actually awful, but the actual menu music, the little Spanish guitar, is lovely. Ah, oh, no! How much have I got? Hey, I've already beat my best score, I've got 1,900. And I've got to go around the big car park, yeah, there's a nice bit of drifting opportunity here. If you're good at drifting, then I'm sure this game will feel a lot better to you than it does to me. Come on, turn. The handbrake's really rubbish. It's just not sensitive enough. Like on Forza, I just dab the handbrake to get myself, uh, you know, which is a bit too sensitive to be honest, but this is just terrible. It's like you really have to hold it down for a long time. That was not bad. I was quite pleased with that. Right, I'm glad I didn't upload the video of me practice from earlier, it was shocking. What did I get? 2,537, so that's $2,537, which is good, so I've now got almost the 10 grand I need to get the next thing. Right, speed, 400, angle, 600, everything else, zero. <laughs> I've got a bit of experience as well, so I might level up. If I press the start, oh, I'm miles off. So, oh, look, I've been on the game for three hours, that's not right. Well, I've had my Xbox on for three hours, but I've not been playing for that long. Right then, let's, uh... I'm gonna watch the replay. I've not watched the replay yet, so I'm gonna see what the replay's like. So we've got photo mode, next camera, pause, back. We haven't got a make the hood disappear mode by the looks of it, that's a shame. Look at my wheels. The wheels only go full lock. They're very digital in their movements. It's like, right, I'm all the way this way, or I'm all the way that way, and that is all you're having. So maybe I've got to be a bit gentler on... <laughs> they're ridiculous. Maybe I've got to be a little bit gentler on my uh, inputs and have the wheels actually turning rather than just appearing right at the other side. <clears throat> there are quite a lot of adjustments in the settings. And one of the adjustments is um, things like the sensitivity of the wheels to get full lock and how much of an angle full lock is. So all that stuff's adjustable. But yeah, the, 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 um, the amount of stuff you can adjust in the settings is actually quite good. There's a lot of uh, flexibility in there. And they've got, they do have like a, a help mode as well where it, it kind of helps you. But I didn't even try that. I don't like assists that break for you or turn for you. It kind of, you know, it kind of ruins the, um, the point of playing the game a little bit, doesn't it? It's a shame you can't turn off the hood. That's really weird. Oh, oh that's good. So you can, you can whiz through this. Can we rotate the camera? No. Let's go for next camera. Can we rotate it now? No. <laughs> we can do this though, to fast forward. That looks ridiculous, don't it? It's, it's the, um, the speed that it goes from being full lot one way, full lot the other way is just insane. And it just looks stupid. It's like no one can move their arms that fast. It's ridiculous. The, the little orange strip on the steering wheel is not rotated, it's just teleported. Yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit silly. So I've got photo mode then. I tell you what, the game is so fast. It's like everything. Everything is very, very uh, responsive. The menus are responsive. I mean, this now, moving this around, it's just so responsive. It's going to make other games feel really sluggish. And I tell you what, it's going to make bloody Forza feel like it's taken a year to load. But all the loading screens are quite quick. All the controls are very, you know, just it just that just works quite nice. Oh, I can put a logo. Oh yeah, it's the logo to the game, look, you can just move it from corner to corner. I wonder why that was. Anyway, we're not doing that. That's just erratic. Right, job done. So, let's exit from this. I might be able to afford to buy a car. 
Let's have a little look. Time attack races. Well, I might do a time attack then. Let's try a time attack. I'm gonna have to. I might see if I can put me other mod on. I can. I've, I can buy the turbo mod. I need to be level five for the racing mod. But I'm not gonna be able to do the time attack without at least the turbo mod. So I'll put that on, and I'll have a crack at the time attack. Here we go. So yeah, I like this. I'm quite happy with my purchases yesterday and today. Oh, I'll tell you what, that other game I bought yesterday, which I did my, what was it the day before? The one I did the, uh, the other first little video on. Hot Shot Racers or something, the arcade thing. It went on Game Pass immediately after I bought it. Like, immediately. I didn't realise because I was making that video, but when I went back in the store, it was on Game Pass. I was like, what the fuck? I've just bought this. So I complained and they're going to give me a refund. Well, the lady in the chat said she'd give me a refund the chat window closed because um, there was a problem with the site and it reloaded but uh, I then had to just go over to a form and say I'd like a refund and at the moment they're looking into it but they can't do that can they they've got to tell you if you are actually paying for a game that is I mean I pay for game pass ultimate and if I'm if I am putting in my uh, payment information to pay for a game which is going to be on my you know membership for free within a couple of hours. They've got to tell me that. That's so bad. So yeah, it's, uh, I did, I did complain. Well, I wouldn't say it was a complaint. It was more me saying, can I have my money back, please? Because this is a bit out of order. Mm. I'm actually drifting quite well with this, uh, this tune, eh? Though. Maybe I don't need the drift tune. Maybe I'm not ready for it. Mm. So, I'll get some money and uh, oh, not, not much money yeah you don't get so much money for that you, your money is really in the drifting side of things so you get a time bonus look uh, I got one dollar my time bonus a track finishing bonus 150 and then whatever cup you get so I got silver so 1500 for that but when you're doing the um, the drifting races every single drift is money in the bank so it makes a lot more sense to do the drifting ones. Can I afford another car? Eight, I bet I can. 8,900 is what I've got. Oh, I can. So I've still only got class one. So it's got to be somewhere out of here. So either this, will I go for the BMW? I think I will. All right, let's have this. And I'm going to immediately buy the drift tuny pack for it. Oh, shall I buy the turbo as well? I might as well. I've got enough money. I'll buy them both. And I'm going to go in. Oh, it's because I've not got this selected. There we go. And I want to turn my ABS off. So see what I mean? Every single car's got ABS on. So I do that front brake bias again. I think it really helped me. I'm going to try it at about 30%, I think. See what that goes like. So yes, I am ready. Let's go and do a drift race. Oh, I've spent all my money, haven't I? And I can't, I can't unlock another race. So it's the same one again, unfortunately. But yeah, I think this is, um, once I've got the anger drifting, I think this is gonna be a bloody awesome game. Quick look at me car. for the sun shining off the tarmac. I really am. <laughs> that immediately makes me think the graphics are amazing. Since I said that, we've not seen the sun shining off the tarmac. We will as we go around here, though. This is actually more difficult than the other car. With some practice, the game is going to take some practice, but with some practice, I think this game is going to be such a satisfying game to play. And that tandem drifting thing, 
And also, what's what's quite nice is when you when you're doing the lap a second time, you've got your ghost. And if you if you're quite good and your ghost is drifting around and looks awesome, then you drifting around with your ghost, whilst trying not to drive straight through it, would look pretty good. I think it'd look pretty cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed. It's just very hard to get the hang of this drifting because I'm not very good at it. I am wondering whether or not it might be a little bit better to put myself in uh, manual gear so it doesn't change your gear when I don't want it to. So I'd, I'd quite like to stay in a low gear. being in the right position and getting the power down properly. I've just got to learn more about the mechanics of drifting and also the mechanics of tuning a car so that it's good for drifting. That's going to be important as well. Uh, 1,700. I'll have one more crack at that, so we can see uh, see my ghost, and I'll perform against it. See if I can beat that. So 1,700, not a very good score. So let's see if we can do any better. Oh shit! Yeah, I definitely need to um, to fiddle with a setup. I need to learn. The only thing that I understand about drifting is you want your diff to be locked as much as possible. That's the only thing I know. And I know that some drifters actually weld their drift because it said that in the guide that Doxy sent me a link to. But there's no setting that says um, tighten up your diff or weld your diff. Uh, that's not in there at all. And so I don't know what I'm doing. It's a real shame. But I really wish that the game was like Forza, where you could download drifts, uh, drifts, download tunes for drifting that somebody else who knows what they're doing has made for you. That's definitely the best option, isn't it? It's just let other people do it. That's what drivers do. Drivers just let mechanics do it. It's like you could be a driver and a mechanic, but you don't have to be, do you? It's like, just let the, the guys in the garage sort it out. Tell them what you want and they will get it sorted. That, um, that adjustment that I made even lower. Great voice thing. Try and beat myself. Your multiply goes up, but then if you crash before you've banked your points, you aren't going to lose them. So whenever a multiply starts going up, I always get a little bit nervous that. I know I'm not very good and I'm probably going to lose them points pretty quickly. Look at him crashing into the wall. I've got to get over 200 points in this last corner to be able to beat myself and I've spun out so I'm not going to get anything. good but we have got a little bit more cash now almost up to four grand there we go guys that is uh, whatever this game's called is it called drift x i think it's drift x isn't it car x car x drift racing online it would have been better to call it drift x car racing online or something else completely different because that's the shittiest name ever it's terrible should just have been called drift racing or drift racing online what's the car x bit all about Anyway, there we go. What do you think? Are you going to get it? Do you like it? Do you think it looks rubbish? Do you think it looks nice? Do you think it was a waste of 25 quid? Do you think it's going to be on Game Pass by the time I finish this video, like the one I did the other day was? You can't pick these cars. It's just giving you uh, statistics of how long you've spent in each of them. Right, let's have a little look, see if there's anything else that I need to share with you before I shut this one down. 
time attack training I don't know what this is it just picks a piece of the track though you select the track and then it just picks one little bit of it but I don't know I don't know what happens let's pick that bit of it and see what happens uh, so choose your car can I have any car can I go can I it's not changing the classes Change tyre pressure. Well, that must be important then. If it's telling me to change it, I'll lower it quite a lot. There we go. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I know where this tandem drifting is. Where's the other person? The initiation fail. Clipping zone missed. Low speed. I'm stuck. <laughs> Failed. Insufficient angle on initiation. Low speed blank. Low speed zero zero zero. Right, that's more difficult than I expected. I didn't do very well. <laughs> so there you go. You've seen what that bit of the game is. You you let your tyres down and then you drive really shit. And uh, multiplayer room listing goes. Just have a look. See if there's anyone in the rooms. Well, there is. There are people in the rooms. There are people. That's uh, interesting. Well, there are rooms. Are there people? Yeah, there are. Look, 12 or 16, 2 or 16, 12, 11. So, yeah, you can certainly get online games then. There's definitely people who are, who are online. So, there's options available. I don't know what gold or not gold means. I imagine this one means it's easier and that one means it's more difficult, maybe. We have cross-platform as well. Look, right trigger, cross-platform multiplayer. There we go, John. I can play against you on your PlayStation. And your PC. Oh, it's PC. So, yeah, it came up and said. So, it's just PC or Xbox. It's not a PlayStation thing then, or is it? Let's see if we can see anyone on PlayStation. No, it's not, is it? It's just PC. Nice to have uh, cross-platform, though. It looks like it's got a decent community, because there's a lot of people. 358 people in there. So, that's quite interesting. We have a multiplayer garage. Oh, it's the same garage. Okay, nothing is different in here. Have a look at our body kits. Nothing changed. Oh, we can select it to look at it. Oh, hang on. Look, let's make my wheels really big. <laughs> well, that just looks ridiculous. And I assume this is uh, front wheel, rear wheel drive, and all wheel drive. It has to be, doesn't it? It can't be anything else. That's what it's got to be. Huh. That's actually pretty cool. There's a lot of customization available. So yeah, I like this. Let's have a look at some of the early ones that I missed. Yeah, I didn't want to buy it, I just want to back out. Not enough money. Oh okay, I've got to reset it. Let's change to one of the other cars and have a look at its mods. So body and what changed? Nothing. I can't see any changes. Let's put it on this one. This one. Nothing changed. This one. Now it's changed. It's definitely changed. Oh, that looks awesome. I like the tape on the lights. <laughs> look at the lights just peeking out just to see if anyone's there. Is the police there? I don't know. I'll have a look. Make sure they don't see you. Oh, what are you playing at? They'll easily see you. Get back down. Sorry, mate. <laughs> right, come on in. There we go. The old Bill will see us. That's nice. I mean, obviously, we can go up there and do individual fiddling, can't we? Let's have a look at the different hoods. There's a lot of customizability. You can't tell what they're going to look like at all until you've selected them. But, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but it would be a, a bit difficult for them to have lots and lots of options available on the little uh, pictures. Yeah, they, they blatantly don't look like what they are, do they? <laughs> no roof. What other interesting things we got? Oh, you can change your steering wheel. That's interesting. 
can't can't see it though. Let's get back in again. I want to look down, but that's not really an option. It's still it's nice touch. You can even change your handbrake and your shifter. I don't think I've ever seen a game before that lets you change the handbrake. I mean, we can't see what we're doing. Oh, yeah, we can. There it is. Right, what do you prefer? Your standard handbrake or your giant, <laughs> your giant red lever? My goodness. I wasn't expecting that. Right, let's have a look at some of the, uh, the shifters then. Normal. Well, that's the worst camera angle ever for looking at the shifters. I can't... Can we peek at them from here? No, we can't, can we? We can't see it. Oh, we can sort of see them a little bit, look. Look at the difference. <laughs> it makes your car weigh a lot more because there's so much bloody metal. Right, what else we got in this uh, selection of crazy mods then? The right seat and the left seat. You can independently change your seats. That is pretty damn crazy. That's, a, that's pretty amazing actually. And our exhaust. You should be able to just look around. Can I, can I zoom in as I'm looking around? Not really. No, the controls aren't very good for looking around the car. They've been really good for everything else. There we go. A, a lovely uh, selection of mods on your car. But really, the downfall of the game for me is not knowing what to do in here. But obviously, that's not the game's fault. But it, it would be nice if they gave you a little bit more information so that I didn't have to go and find the information on the internet. If they said, moving this setting up will have this effect to your car, moving it down will have this effect on your car, that would be lovely. And uh, obviously, what would be even better is there to be some defaults that I could choose because this setting is the same whether I'm on race or uh, drift or standard or whatever. It's always like this. So obviously, your setup <coughs> of your suspension and, and your wheels and your brakes is going to be very different if you're doing, you know, like a time race or just trying to get a lot of drift points. But unfortunately, I don't know how to come in and do that. So. That's a real shame, so I'm gonna to have to go and find that information out. And I'm, I'm kind of hoping that someone has put uh, something on the internet that is this screen saying this, these settings are good for a drift. But still, I'd much prefer to just download something that someone else has done. Uh, what I'm gonna to have to do is find it online, and then come in here and individually change all of them to match whatever I can find and then fine tune it. But if it was just someone's tune and I could just download it and slap it on and just get out there and drive and it would be nice that would be a much better option so there we go guys anyway that is it i'm going to continue playing this uh, but i i'm i'm just gonna to have to put in the time to practice but i don't see as there's much point in practicing to try and drive a car if my setup is making the car undrivable so i really want to find out how to tune the car first and hopefully get, uh, as I say, someone else who can do it for me. <laughs> Copy what they do, and then I'll go and actually practice driving the car when it's drivable. Right, see you next time, guys. You take care, have an awesome whatever it is, wherever you are. And is my tea still hot? Or oh, not really. Right, see you.